Hi everybody, I'm going to be uh, using the canvas that you get in the January Technique Kit and I'm going to be um, showing you how I created uh, the canvas that I made um, for Swirly Do's. And so what I'm doing is I'm just using some multimedium and just applying it with a paintbrush onto the stamp and then I just stamp randomly on the canvas um, and you don't see here but I do it um, all over the canvas and um, it turns out really nice so now what I'm doing I am taking the mask and some glimmer mist and just um, misting um, over the mask and this creates a really nice uh, background and with the uh, multimedia it just gives a lot of texture um, when you do layers uh, like this and so I do um, this four times but you only see it two times in the video but um, I do um, splotch off a lot of the excess um, mist because I want a softer look uh, for the background you can see here I'm gonna um, just blotch it off with the paper towel. So I'm going to be um, misting some flowers with some uh, coffee shop glimmer mist and this glimmer mist comes in the technique kit and I'm just gonna uh, dry them almost completely dry um, not a hundred percent but I'm gonna be adding some apricot chalkboard mist that also comes in the technique kit and I really like um, adding um, multiple colors to my flowers. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to be stamping on the flowers with some gesso. And I found that if I layer the flowers on the stamp instead of stamping directly onto the flowers and then turning the um, stamp over and applying pressure that way. Um, I like uh, the look better. And then here you'll see after the gesso dried I am going to be using some more glimmer mist um, and I just uh, spray them randomly not really any order. And then now I'm going to be layering the flowers together um, and it creates a really just simple uh, flower but because I did the stamping and the glimmer mist um, the flowers turn out um, really pretty. I am cutting this snowflake out from the paper collection and this is a really good way um, to add uh, some embellishments to your layouts or projects. So this is a tag that I made in the video I made for the uh, blog hop and I'm just distressing the edges with the distress tool. This is a Heidi Swap distress tool and um, it gives it just a little bit more texture. And here I'm using the picket fence distress stain um, just around the edges. It kind of just uh, lightens the edges just a little bit. So here I am adding the photo to some pattern paper. Um, this The pattern paper comes in the main kit. And then I'm just layering the um, snowflake on the back of the picture. So here you could see I have a Prima flower that comes in the kit and then I'm just adding the flowers that I made um, earlier um, around the picture as well. I'm just adding some trim and then I'll be adhering the whole piece down and then I'm going to be using some of that little canvas that I used the image transfer technique on. Um, for the blog hop and that completes the layout and I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks so much for watching. Bye!